Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we bless your holy name, O Lord, for you are good. Your mercy endures forever. We thank you, thou ancient of days, the merciful God, the ancient of days, the Lord that does not change, the Lord that answers prayer, the patient God, the omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thank you for life. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We honor you, I am that I am. Thank you, everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus. We've gathered in your presence again today. Everlasting Father, please order our step in your word. Let your word work for us in the name of Jesus. For yours, O Lord, is kingdom and power and glory now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Good day, beloved. The Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Today is the day 14 of our fasting. And we are trusting God today for favor and grace. Favor and grace. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16, Therefore, let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of need. Grace is a favor of God, majorly unmerited. Every believer became saved just by grace. And it begins to enjoy divine ability and enablement, which is called favor. So it is grace that gives us, give us access to to enjoy the abilities and divine provisions the Lord had given unto us. I want us to go before the Lord according to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 that said it is by grace that we are saved through faith, not by ourselves. It is the gift of God. I want us to say, Father, thank you for your grace that has saved us from the power of darkness in the name of Jesus. The grace that has saved us from the power of darkness the Bible says we have been saved by grace through faith. It is not by ourselves. It is the gift of God. Father, we thank you for the gift of grace. For the gift of grace, we have been delivered from the dominion of darkness by grace. It is not of works, lest any man should boast. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. As we approach your throne of grace with confidence this day, we obtain mercy and we find grace to help, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We obtain mercy. Nothing will hinder us from accessing your grace in the name of Jesus. The ones we had enjoyed in the past, the ones we are enjoying now, Father, we thank you for them all. The grace that has delivered us from the power of darkness, we appreciate you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, just as Noah found grace in, the, in your sight, Father, let your hand of favor and grace help us for divine blessings in the name of Jesus. Let your hand of favor and grace find us out, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, for divine blessings. Let your hand of favor and grace Find us out, sort us out, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. It was grace that found Noah out. Let your hand of grace and favor find us out, we pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, will call upon your name. You said, ask and you shall receive. Just as the Bible says about Noah, that he found grace in your sight. Let us find grace in your sight, Lord, we pray. Let us find grace in your sight, O oh Lord, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written as the of our Lord Jesus Christ that he increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and in favor with man. Oh, Abba Father, let my life experience, let it experience your divine favor and grace wherever I go or turn to. In the name of Jesus, let my life experience your divine favor and grace wherever I go. Wherever I turn to, you said, as you open my mouth wide, and you will feel it. Everlasting Father, wherever I turn to, wherever I go, let my life experience favor. Let my life experience favor and grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, let my life experience favor and grace. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, O everlasting Father. I will praise you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not, have, and have not allowed my foes, my enemies, to rejoice over me. Father, please, by your favor and grace, do not allow the enemy to triumph over me. In the name of Jesus, by your favor and grace, do not allow the enemy to triumph over me, Lord. For thou, O Lord, art shield for me. Thou, O Lord, art my glory. Thou, O Lord, art the lifter up of my head. In your grace and favor, do not let the enemy triumph over me, over my family, over my loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everlasting Father, let your name alone be exalted. Let your name alone be exalted. Father will call upon your name. Your word says, what are you plotting against the Lord? It will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up again the second time. Everlasting Father, your word that every plot against the Lord shall be brought to an end. O Lord will call upon your name by your grace and favor. Put an end to struggle and suffering in my life. In the name of Jesus, for the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. For you make me to lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside still waters. You restore my soul. You lead me in the path of righteousness. For your own name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall not fear evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Father, you prepare the thing before me in the presence of my enemy. You also anoint my head with oil till my cup runneth over. That's why I know that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus, put absolute end to struggle and suffering. In the name of Jesus. Put absolute end to struggle, to suffering in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by your grace and favor, by your grace and favor, draw me nearer to you that I may obtain help from you in time of need. Your words and let us therefore come before the throne of great confidence that we may obtain mercy. I find grace for help. Heavenly Father, I approach your throne with confidence. I approach your throne through the blood of Jesus. I say, Father, I obtain mercy and I find grace for help. I obtain mercy and I find grace for help. I obtain mercy and I find grace for help. I obtain mercy according to your word and promise. I approach your throne of great confidence. Through the blood of Jesus, I obtain mercy. I obtain mercy and I find grace for help. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, make all grace abound to me in all things and at all times that, may, that I may abound in every good work. Because your word said, God is able to make all grace abound towards you that in everything. Always having all self-sufficiency, you may abound to every good work. I present your word before you, Father. Your word that you have exalted above your name. And I know, I have found it in the scripture, scriptures cannot be broken. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, make all grace abound to me in all things and at all times that I may abound in every good works in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus O oh Lord Almighty please in your own eyes let me and my generation find favor all the days of our lives until we see you in glory for your words have but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord Everlasting Father, myself, my generation forever, let us find grace, let us find favor in your sight 
all the days of our lives. Everlasting Father, let this great favor be transgenerational for me and my generations, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we find favor in your sight. Let your face shine upon us. Let your face shine upon us. Let your face shine upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, by your mercy, Father, let your favor be upon me and establish the works of my hand to flourish and to do exploit. Let your favor be upon my family to establish us the works of our hand. Make it flourish and to do exploit. Let your favor be upon my wife, be upon my children, be upon my loved ones. Establish the works of our hands to flourish and to do exploit. Oh Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, by your mercy, show us mercy, oh God. Show us mercy, O Lord. The Bible says, let the beauty of the Lord our God be on us and establish the works of our hands. Father, yeah, the works of our hand, establish it. Let the beauty of the Lord be upon me. Let the beauty, beauty of the Lord be upon my wife. Let the beauty of the Lord be upon my children. Let the beauty of the Lord be upon all my loved ones. And everyone that will say a beautiful believing amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, establish the work of our hand. He will to be flourishing to the glory of your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord God Almighty, your word said, For Jehovah God is a son and a shield. Jehovah will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Abba Father, as a son, and they should give us grace and favor. Please do not withhold any good thing from us. As a son and a shield to us, give us grace and favor. Give us grace and favor. Do not withhold any good thing from us. As a son and a shield, Abba Father, grant us grace and favor. Do not withhold any good thing from us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Abba Father, for you, O Jehovah, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround them as with a shield. O Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, make us righteous. Bless and cover us with favor as with a shield. In this year, let heaven be open unto us, O Lord. Let us also be heaven conscious. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, Bless and cover us with favor as with shield. In this year, let us be heaven conscious, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, as your elect, as your elect, let us increase in wisdom. Let us increase in stature and in favor with God and in favor with man, even as this, this year's confession is attended. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says, and Jesus Christ increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and in favor with man. Everlasting Father, those that will attend on sight and those that will attend online, let us increase in favor. Let us increase in wisdom. Let's increase in stature. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, please, we want to make it to heaven. Help us to terminate sin in our lives. So that the grace of God may abound in every sphere of our lives. The Bible says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin so that grace may abound? Heavenly Father, we desire to make it to heaven. We want to make it to heaven. We want to hear, well done, my faithful servant. Abba, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove sin in our lives. Help us to terminate sin in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, that we receive the good commendation, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we receive grace and favor in every area of our lives and family as we attend this heaven conscious convention. In the mighty name of Jesus, everlasting Father, we obtain grace and favor in every area of our life and family as we attend this convention, Lord. 
this year's convention, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this convention be a season of grace and favor to dominate every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare safe journey to and fro for everyone that will attend on site. In the name of Jesus Christ, and to everyone who will attend online, no distraction. No distraction. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord, for your son, who you will use to go and who you have been using to carry the banner of this mission. He will not grow weary. He will not grow tired. All that concerns him, it is well with him. Where will the wife, the children, and the grandchildren, every minister whose hands are on deck to ensure that the work of the, this ministry keep on getting productive according to the will of the Lord, will of the Lord. Let your hand be, be with them all in the mighty name of Jesus. And to you who is praying, the, the hand of the Lord is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you and all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. Today, I decree to your life, find grace, receive grace and favor. Receive grace and favor. Receive grace and favor to your health, to your finances, to your destiny, to your marriage, to your home, to the every department on the land the Lord has allotted unto you. Receive grace and favor in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Today is the end of the 14th day fasting and prayer. Do not let your prayer end today. Do not let your study scriptures end today. Do not let occasional fasting uh, to keep your, your spirit up end today. And most importantly, keep yourself in the will of the Lord until the coming of the Lord, either personally or congregationally. You are blessed in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you.